What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what I'm going to be showing you guys today is just a mini war recap of our week 9 matchup against none other than WHF and holy crap what a performance uh, WHF put on especially uh, in the 10v10 department, uh, they got eight 10v10s against our bases, something we'll definitely be working on. One thing that seems to be happening these last few matchups, uh, not only is it our toughest stretch uh, uh, in the league, uh, these last few wars that we've had, uh, but these clans just completely dominating in uh, the 10v10 category. So definitely got to figure out what's going on with base building. Uh, but I mean, without a doubt, uh, they definitely outshined us 10v10. We still put up and still had very solid numbers in a lot of the uh, uh, town hall levels. I'll go ahead and show you what we did to their side of the map. First, I'll show you what they did to our side of the map. And as you can see, they even tripled our number two. Because they had so many 10v10s, it allowed them to get uh, an 11v11 opportunity. And they were able uh, to triple our number two. Uh, so yeah, Bill getting the, the 11 v 11 triple, absolutely huge for their side, not so much for our side. And they did double all of our 11s with their Town Hall 10s. I, I, they only had a few fails. So like I said, they really, really brought it this war. Again, getting eight 10 v 10s, obviously. Uh, I mean, it was really, really tough. They didn't, they didn't even have, let me see. They didn't even have a dip fail. Uh, they hit... Yeah, the, the hit they did on Captain Crunch, that was obviously an 11v11 attempt, uh, only a two-star. Uh, it was a, a pretty heavy breakdown. There were six Town Hall 11s on the map. I believe it was a 618 breakdown, so pretty heavy. Uh, we also had some Tier 1s on the map. I uh, will be showing you guys uh, those replays. We did triple uh, their Tier 1. First time... Uh, that it's happened so far an invite where we actually saw a tier one town hall 10 so again i will show you guys uh the replay to that attack this is what we did to their side of the map definitely an improvement in the 10 v 11 game at the end of the day uh the only one we weren't able to double was their number two uh, but we did manage to get all of the remaining five Town Hall 11s doubled with our Town Hall 10s. Very, very tough bases. I will be showing you guys the replay. Uh, we had Wen getting a four-pack uh, 10v11. I will show you guys that a little later in the video. Uh, as far as what we did to uh, their bases, we only had... Let's see. We did have one dip fail. We only had one dip fail. The other attack was an 11 v 11 attempt on their number two that we weren't able to double with our Town Hall 10s. Uh, so still a very, very decent performance, uh, only having one dip fail, especially on this really heavy breakdown. So again, huge shout out to all of our Town Hall 11s. Uh, let's see right here. Definitely want to give shout out. We have Wen, Rio, BRG, Captain Crunch all getting uh, six packs. So definitely shout out to you guys. And we did have, uh, again, we had three 10v10s ourselves. I will be showing you guys those replays as well. And a decent performance from our Town Hall 9s uh, yet again. So big shout out to all of our Town Hall 9s. Uh, we did have quite a few scouts uh, for the 10s. Uh, so again, 9s definitely been doing very, very well uh, and, and getting the attacks in early. Uh, so definitely set the, set the pace pretty good uh, for our heavy hitters. Of course, I got to show the attack. Uh, from or on Mr. November, we have Masam. Gotta burn Mr. November's base in this recap. Uh, big shout out to Mr. November, uh, longtime friend to a lot of uh, uh, to a lot of us here in Forge from Steel. Uh, but we have Masam gonna be coming in here doing it with an old school attack. You guys already know, absolutely my, my favorite attacks. Old school, doing it with a simple shattered Lalo entering in the upper right hand side of the base up here. Uh, gonna be breaking in as his golem is beating on the Tesla right there. Uh, this one was actually a cleanup. Uh, notice he does have his queen uh, over on the right hand side, just setting the funnel and just trimming all these defenses on the side, getting a decent value. 
once he goes ahead and pops her ability, taking out the Tesla and uh, grabbing the Archer Tower as well. Does have a nice rage in the core. Hound not doing a whole lot, just chasing around uh, the bowlers, but he set up such a nice funnel. All the bowlers made it into uh, the core of this base and just completely wrecked. Also had a heal in the core as well as the bowlers are chasing the king uh, before he starts the flight portion of this attack. Uh, does have two camp hounds and he's bringing 14 balloons to this attack. Uh, starting up at about one o'clock and we bring these loons across the base as the hounds are gonna be tanking everything. Here they come and he does have three haste uh, that he is bringing along to uh, the flight portion. So here they come, hounds doing a good job tanking uh, the air defenses and the Teslas as well as he goes ahead and drops a haste over on the nine o'clock corner of the base uh, to bring them into these ADs. And as you can see, just completely swarms this base. Uh, last defense defense to go down is actually going to be uh, that Tesla. Nothing but cleanup. And we did have Masam uh, get a, a six pack this war. Actually, that's what I'll do. I will go ahead and show you guys uh, our Town Hall 9 six packs. Have not been doing that. I don't know why. Just kind of forget. Uh, but here's a list. We have NECA getting a fresh uh, 9v9 six pack. And he got his attacks in very, very early. Huge shout to NECA. He's been red hot. Uh, we have Masam. We have Blake, uh, a.k.a. Ked. Of course, Ked's back. Saba, my gobbing 9v9, a six-pack. Of course, Fabiging, uh, a six-pack as well. And that is going to do it. So we did have quite a few 9v9 six-packs. So big shout-out uh, to all you guys. We'll go ahead and move up. Uh, we're going to check out this hit right here. Like I said, we had a Tier 1 on our side, obviously a Tier 1 on their side. For the first time, it took nine weeks for uh, a, a Tier 1 Town Hall 10 to get on the map. Don't know why, uh, but Ash coming in, getting... Uh, so his first war in invite as a Town Hall 10, getting a triple. And again, these Tier 1s are not gimmies. Uh, it's definitely a very, very tough base, as you guys are about to see. Uh, but we have Ash taking on Enigmatic, doing it with, of course got to be one of my go-to uh, Town Hall 10 attacks, that being the Clone Bone. King over here uh, on the upper right-hand side, uh, Queen over on the left, just getting decent value, setting up the funnel, taking out a few uh, air targeting defenses as well. King trimming all the trash, doing a little Kiwi walk, uh, getting decent value, making sure all those dragons stay inside the core of the base. Ash is bringing three Rage and two Haste, and of course, he does have his clone spell, which is only level one, but he's still going to be bringing, I believe, five level seven loons when he goes ahead and clones the, the balloon that comes out of the clan castle. So dragons making their way to the core of this base. There goes the clone portion right there as he is uh, going to be tanking uh, oh, actually, you know what? He ends up cloning his loons. Actually, ends up cloning his loons, not the loon that came out of the clan castle. Uh, not sure what happened there, but he does still have a huge wad down here at 6 o'clock. Nice rage in the core. Still has his CC hound still up. Pops right as the balloons swarm over uh, that air defense that was right there in the core. They go ahead and collapse on the fourth and final AD. And as you guys see, nothing but an archer tower and a wizard tower left. All dragons down as we are seeing this attack uh, going a little heavier on the loons. Just a, a dragon or two lighter uh, for the core of the base. But it's not uncommon for the dragons not to survive and having the loons clean up everything. So very, very nice attack. And especially getting that 10v10 triple in his first war in invite. Again, it took nine weeks uh, for a tier one to show up. Uh, so huge shout out to WHF uh, for also having a tier one. They ended up three starring each other, uh, but was definitely a lot of fun. Okay, so now we have NECA. This is normally our 10v11 guy, but we put a hold on base number number two as all the other 11s were doubled. Uh, so we have NECA, again, who's our, part of our 10v11 team, ends up getting a 10v10 triple. This is how he did it, following an awesome plan uh, that was actually set up uh, by Helicase, tweaked a couple things, doing this uh, with a shattered entry, as he does have his queen over here taking out these two wizard towers. She's going to go ahead and meet up, as there is, I believe, a golem that's going to be coming out of the clan castle. Going to go ahead and jump in uh, to have 
all his golems, all his bowlers, both of his heroes making their way into the core of the space, goes ahead and drops a rage, uh, or going to be dropping a rage for them inside of the core, going to get amazing value. Uh, oh, and he also brought a P.E.K.K.A., a level 5 P.E.K.K.A. to this attack as well. Not even sure what inspired that, but still got very, very good value. Uh from that, you know, from bringing that P.E.K.K.A. because he's dropping his second Rage to go ahead and take out that Inferno Tower. There were also two giant bombs that were in that Inferno Tower compartment. Uh, so basically kind of sued those six hogs or those seven hogs to get that IT down. Here comes the rest of them starting over at 1 and 12 o'clock. Uh, basically cut the base in half. Took out all the defenses. Hogs making their way from 12 are going to be ending over at 9 o'clock. And still has quite a few point defenses left, but with that heal spell, he was able to bring all those hogs back up to full health. As you guys can see, they're going to end on that mortar down there and ends up just completely smashing this base. Uh, and look, he even has his golem still survive the entire attack and uh, again doing it with a P.E.K.K.A. So just an amazing variation. Uh, we have been seeing hogs at Town Hall 10 a lot but not bringing a P.E.K.K.A. for the kill squad. Absolutely loved uh, the value that he got from it and end up doing it uh, stone. He did bring three golems uh, to that attack. Went pr pretty light on the hogs but invested a lot in the kill squad. Ended up paying off. Huge shout out. Okay next up we have Jacob going to be smashing this base right here, taking on Golly. Uh, going to be doing this with Sui Hero Lalo. Uh, going to be on uh, CG. So Jacob has just, again, been red hot, uh, especially in Invite. He's already gotten a, a few 10v10 triples so far on the season. Uh, so we definitely... We're, this is definitely a cleanup attack. Uh, took a couple tries to get this entry right on the Sui part. Uh, but Jacob comes in here, ends up getting it done. And just going to get incredible value just by just by with his heroes and a few wall breakers. He's already eliminated an archer tower and one air defense. With his ability, the goal is to take out that expo uh, that's pounding on his queen. And grabbing that air defense as well. Uh, he's gonna be gonna be doing a raid skelly on the queen once he starts the flight portion, as you guys are gonna see. And King did a good job funneling the archer queen in. All objectives were completed, uh, so definitely did a very very good job there. So he's starting his Lalo up here at 12 o'clock, as he does want to get because his Lalo is gonna be taking down both Inferno towers. So he's gonna be starting off hasting all those balloons into the first IT, followed up by the Rage, and he does have a max Skelly spell to uh, take out the enemy queen. Goes ahead and rages that Wad that were above the Expo and the second Inferno Tower. Huge water loons collapse. They one-shot that IT. Uh, he goes ahead and hastes that bottom group down there at 6 o'clock to take out the fourth and final air defense, and they're going to go ahead and collapse right here. Uh, he's still taking quite a bit of damage, but he has so many balloons and there's no splash down there. It's all uh, just point defense. But with that many loons, they go ahead and one shot all three archer towers and the expo ends up getting it done. Uh, so definitely came in clutch. Uh, beautiful Sui Hero Lalo uh, performed by none other than Jacob. Huge, huge shout out. So that right there, guys were our three 10 v 10s i will go ahead and show you real quick again don't want the video to get too long uh, but definitely want to give credit where credit is due uh we have when i mean just wrecking at all town hall levels on his nine on his 10 on his town hall 11 uh so here he's going to be doing an incredible attack uh an attack we're seeing, I still wouldn't even say it's quite meta, but it does work out on the right base layouts. As you see, he did, he is doing a Lalo over here at nine o'clock, as he's gonna be getting a decent percentage and not too, uh, not too expensive as far as the camp space. Uh, look, he's already going to be at 8% and just with a few archers, gonna be getting some more percentage over there at nine o'clock. And he's going to be doing a bowler smash uh, down here, just a, a, a mini kill squad down here at 6 o'clock uh, to help set this funnel. And as you see, he does have uh, 10 Valkyries in the camp. So right here, he's going to be hasting in a huge Waterloons, followed up by a heal spell. 
again, to go ahead and grab some more defenses and set the funnel for the Bowler Smash. And he does have a couple more archers that will be picking up some more percentage as well. Already at 22% and still has quite a few troops uh, to deploy as well. He still has 10 Valkyries. There goes his Golem. Uh, as he's going to be uh, breaking into 6 o'clock with his wall breakers right here. And here comes his Valkyries. Actually... Uh, he's already deployed a CC, so he's not, it's actually, uh, it was not a bowler smash. Uh, this was just going to be doing uh, kind of a va, uh, a, a go va, uh, as he is going to be just bringing his golems and his 10 Valkyries, followed up by his heroes. There was a hound in the CC. Notice he does kind of uh, just put his queen on the outside of the base to go ahead and pick up percentage, as he does not want that queen to go ahead and lock onto that hound. Goes ahead and jumps into the core. So notice, once all the defenses were down, queen goes in, Basically three shots uh, that hound, but notice there's no defenses on his queen, so he can afford to go ahead and have that queen meet up with that hound, not being targeted by anything else. And the the Valks already damaged the town hall quite a bit, so queen taking damage from that eagle. But right here, uh, like I said, the Valks damaged the town hall hugely ends up basically four shotting that town hall ends up getting a 54 percent uh on this attack so beautiful beautiful execution taking his time you know very very patient attack uh, nice uh, attack by when and like i said he did four pack so i definitely want to show you guys uh both of his attacks and doing it differently this was the one where he did the bowler smash uh i confused the last uh two bases so go ahead and see how he breaks this one down uh he is going to be doing uh, uh just an epic queen charge to set the funnel uh, for the kill squad portion of his attack for his main push uh, as he is uh, starting just a few archers as there are you know a few buildings that he can get any free percentage that you can get at 10 v 11 especially with something cheap like an archer only one camp space uh, so definitely had a nice scout I uh, definitely scout this base very well so he's going to be getting you know, quite a few buildings down with just a few archers. Okay, so here comes, uh, did drop a bowler and a wizard to go ahead and take out that lab. And most, most importantly, when he got the bounce off the lab on the hut, set a beautiful uh, funnel to make sure that queen would go exactly where he wants her to go, which is inside this three o'clock compartment as she's going to be charging up towards nine. Uh, so go, uh, and notice there's not a lot of point defenses right here. So he's being again nice and patient, uh, not getting too excited. Goes ahead and drops down his rage. Uh, goes ahead and drops down his rage on his queen and his healers as he started taking damage from the expo and the archer tower. Going to go ahead and take out the air defense. These are all just bonus buildings and funneling. Uh, for the main push towards the town hall uh, goes ahead and takes out a few more of these buildings just go ahead and times through right here she's just beating on the elixir goes ahead and drops down that rage notice he is getting uh, targeted by that inferno tower goes ahead and pops the ability as the cc starts to come out uh, gonna get one more building uh, before she goes down that being the air defense so here comes the bowler uh, the bowler golem kill squad starting off Go ahead, I uh, went ahead and dropped down his king and got a nice wall break down here at six o'clock. Uh, here comes the bowlers. I uh, did bring uh, six camp bowlers for this main push right here uh, as he is trying to make his way towards the town hall. He still has nine Valkyries to deploy on this attack. Uh, as he does, goes ahead and drops down his jump. Notice, guys, he has the max Valkyries coming out of the CC. Completely epic. Uh, so he did have uh, those those new max level Valkyries. Nice rage. And notice he has a poison in the core as well, uh, as he did have those ground skellies. Uh, Valks basically one shot with that beautiful leading rage. Going to be ending this one, guys, at 59%. Just set an epic funnel like you see right there. Uh, not sure why he had the wall breaker, but he did have those new uh, max level six Valkyries. Did bring four of them. Uh, plus he had uh, plus nine on that push. Basically, they uh, one-shotted on their swings with that town hall. But that is going to do it, guys. Uh, again, a huge loss. 
that we suffered a seven star loss, no less uh, to none other than WHF. They put on a show, only had a few uh, 10 v 11 fails, cleared all our 11s with their 10s. They did have an 11 v 11 triple, and they had eight 10 v 10s. Uh, so definitely look out for WHF looking red hot. We have to get to base building. Uh, especially on at the Town Hall 10 level, but that's going to do it for this video. We do still have two more wars. Uh, this coming weekend, uh, we face off against Jayoff, and then after that, we have one Hive 2.0. So definitely want to look and try to win out the rest of the season. Uh, our record now is four and five. Uh, but again, huge shout out to everybody in Forge from Steel. Uh, we still had a decent performance. Just have to figure out what is going on with the base building side. Uh, but nothing to take away from WHF. They completely wrecked it, as you guys saw. But that is going to do it for this video. If you guys liked it, uh, make sure you uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.